Okay, another special guest for you today. We have on the phone the American hero, Mr. Tim Kennedy. Thanks for joining us, uh, facing Michael Bisping this Wednesday night at the Ultimate Fighter finale. You ready, man? Yeah, I am definitely ready. You've been uh, you've been talking a lot of trash to Michael Bisping for a while, <laughs> trying to get this fight going. I mean, is this something that you? How long have you wanted to fight Michael Bisping? Uh, I don't know about four years um, since he spit on one of my friends and illegally need my other friend I don't know, since then. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a good enough reason to want to go after somebody. Now, when you uh, when you do fight him on Wednesday, do you are you hoping for a finish? I mean, Michael Bisping can't finish a book, so we're not worried about him finishing you. But are you looking for a finish, or you just want to you want to draw it out for three straight rounds? Uh, I got five. I got five rounds to put a beating to him. And um, no, I want to finish him. You know, I, I don't want him like ah judges this, judges that. You know, he's he's squeaked out some crazy stupid decisions. Um, ones that he runs around like he won a fight after he just got you know smashed. Um, so you know, I really don't want to see judges scorecards. On uh, on Wednesday night, you know that that isn't how I'm approaching this fight. You know, I'm I'm, I'm there to finish him. I'm there to beat him and uh, make do so decisively. How do you feel about some of his responses to you? As far as the, the he's saying that you're 100 percent beneath him. He said you were, uh, I believe, a communist at one point and Oompa Loompa. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. He also said I, the military service member, should be embarrassed that I represent them um that you know americans would be embarrassed that i represent their country i don't know man i it's it's uh it's dribble from from a toddler idiot <laughs> <laughs> what about the, the special aunt card he sent you via twitter uh, that was funny that was legitimately funny um <laughs> it's uh it's 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 typical you know um as i'm walking through the lobby in the in the hotel here at the um, in Quebec, I'm being heckled by you know some of his entourage. So it's it's um, I would expect nothing less. You know. So are you like now after this fight's over, after everything's said and done, regardless of the outcome, do you see you guys shaking hands and and, and being cool with each other? Or you think this is going to be an ongoing thing for a while? Nah, no, we're not. A, we're not, we're not going to ever be you know buddies. <laughs> go gra- go down and grab a beer together. Um, like hey, you want to come over and watch some football? Um, we're just we're different people in, in every way, you know, like what, what we prioritize about life, what we care about. Um, you know, I'm like country and family and God, you know, and he's like none of those things. <laughs> so, um, he, he'd probably be confused on which football is watched to begin with. So <laughs> yeah, Manchester United or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't think we're, we're going to be shaking hands. So how much involvement do you have in the Ranger Up parody videos? Now, I know this is the second one that I've seen Ranger Up do about Michael Bisping. Obviously, the first one um, was when he fought Jorge. So how, how much involvement do you have in, in those? A lot. You know, I, uh, it, it's, uh, I, I enjoy getting under his skin. <laughs> it's funny when he gets all you know riled up and, and fired up. So uh, it was, you know, from... A creative standpoint, you know, like, hey, let's do this or let's do that or what do you think about this or what do you think about that? You know, um, ultimately, Nick Palmasano, you know, CEO of Ranger Up, was the one that was orchestrating, you know, the genius behind all the mean tweets and you know the um, animated feature that we put out last night. Um, that's it's all just awesomeness. Now, if you uh, let's go ahead and I don't want to look too far past this fight. Fighters never want to look past it, but let's just say the outcome is favorable for you on Wednesday night. Would you think that, that puts you in line for a, a title contender match? Yeah, you know I, I don't. Um, you know I'm eight; he's five. You know I think a win over him move, move, obviously moves me up a bit. Uh, you know, beating a you know kind of marquee perennial contender, you know, is a is a big feather in my hat. But it's uh it's it's a it's a shark tank, you know, in the top five. There's a big difference between, you know, being like top ten in the UFC and the top five. You know, there's a lot of really really good fighters, um, you know, in that that top five six rankings. And um, I'll, I'll definitely have to have a couple more good performances before you see me fighting for a title. W- would you like to go up against Leota Machida as that fight got canceled, or would you rather 
go up against somebody who you already possibly lost to when you have like Jacare and Luke Rockhold both in the division um, as well? Uh, I don't know. That's a tough decision. <laughs> 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 the fight that moves me towards the title in the most clearest line. Um, you know, the uh, Vitor Belfort, if he ever you know, gets his steroids under control. <laughs> uh, you know, Leonardo Machido would be an awesome fight. You know, these are uh, Luke Rockhold. You know, he and I fought a close five round battle mm-hmm. when Jacques Ray and I fought for the Strike Force title. I thought I won that fight. You know, five rounds to one. Um, so, you know, having another opportunity to do that would be great. Um, you know, but I want to. I just want to keep fighting the best guys and um, you know, seeing where that puts me. Now, how do you feel about the the, uh, the recent TRT ban basically across the board? It's a it's a good step in the right direction, getting rid of all performance enhancing drugs, and that's exactly what it is. It's a it's a it's a way to cheat. At the time, it was a legal way to cheat. Now, guys are still going to be using it uh, just illegally. So, what has to happen is I know Dana has taken another awesome step, which is testing entire fight cards, which you know yeah. hasn't always been the case. Um, but again, that's just one step. Like. It, it, what, when you're going to get guys is when they're just moving into fight camp. Um, that's when you're going to get you know positive results for, for performance enhancing drugs. It's during fight camp and just before, um, not at the fights, not before the fight, not after the fight. Uh, you know you have to do it during their fight camps or just before their fight camps, mm-hmm. um, or even right after fights. Not not right after like days, but like weeks. Um, and uh, so we we have a long way to go get rid of that stuff from our sport, uh, but at least we're taking steps in the right direction to see a change. We just see John Jones get tested right in the middle of his flight camp. I think it was like live on the, <laughs> uh, he was there on um, Fox Sports 1 there during UFC tonight. He got pulled away during an interview and got tested in the middle of his flight camp. Yeah, I saw him tested uh, a couple of times. Well, that's uh, one one thing moving in the right direction. Now, as far as uh, other policies in the UFC, Dana White recently removed a fighter due to uh, domestic violence allegations from his military career. Do you think that uh, even with the, the plea of that guy's uh, former wife as well as himself, maybe did Dana White jump the gun, or you think that Dana White made the right decision? I don't know. Um, I, I think a guy's responsible for the things he's done in his life, and... Um, no different there. Uh, that's a tough call. You know, I'm, I'm glad I don't have to make those decisions. That's true. That's a good uh, point. No one want to make those decisions either, man. No. And you're uh, you're currently active, Ranger. Yep. Well, I'm a Green Beret. I was never I never served in Ranger Regiment. Oh, okay, okay. It's still mind blowing, man. It's still mind blowing that, that <laughs> someone that, that a Green Beret steps in the cage and fight does, does fight for the country, but then steps in the cage and fights hand to hand in the UFC. Blows my mind. Uh, speaking of fighting, though, we have one more question we got to ask you before we let you go. Custom question we like to ask all the fighters that call into the fights or to the to the show. Uh, something that Dodge came up with. Go ahead, Dodge. All right. So, who would win in a fight, Tim? A bear with machine guns for hands and feet, or a pterodactyl that chainsaws? This is a serious question because I mean you've been through Green Beret training, so it's it's entirely possible that this scenario showed up in one of, one of your training sessions. So it's a it's a it's a bear that has machine guns for hands and feet versus a pterodactyl that poops chainsaws. Standoff, standoff, bro. If you know anything <laughs> about standoff, anybody with uh, an ability to hurt an enemy from range when the enemy can't hurt them uh, is going to win. So I mean, that's soon Zeus stuff from back in the day. It's not, Easy win there for the bear. Easy win for the bear? Yeah, he doesn't even have to fight him. He just sits back and shoots him. <laughs> this is official coming from a Green Beret. <laughs> I think I, this... You're, you're not going to of the bombing of chainsaws, live chainsaws. Your, your phone's breaking up. He's saying, he's saying the, the, the pterodactyl's sw- uh, flying over the bear, just dropping chainsaws on him like bombs. Uh, oh, he only has two feet. True, true. I, I, this is, I think this is worth two votes, Dodge. I mean, this is coming from an official. This is a trained Green Beret. I think we have to put him on, on the board for two for the Bear. All right, man. Well, we know we're running short on time. We really appreciate you calling in, Tim. Best of luck this Wednesday. It is the Ultimate Fighter finale going down uh, for free, so make sure you check it out. It's on Fox Sports 1, right, Dodge? Yes. 
So check that out this Wednesday night. Tim Kennedy, the American hero, is going up against the uh, the guy from across the pond, that trainer, Michael Bisping. Good luck, man. Thank you, guys.